All right, hey guys, thanks for joining me today. Um, we're gonna talk a little bit um, about how to maintain, um, especially to oil um, your your Glocks. I'm a Glock guy, just so, so you guys know my background a little bit. I spent six years um, in the United States Navy with the uh, SBUs, um, which were the small boat units, now the SBTs, small boat teams, as part of SWIC, um, Special Warfare Combatant Craft uh, Crew, and um, and so I spent my military career, uh, you know, in and around weapons. Um, and by far, um, my favorite weapon is the Glock, right? This thing is, I mean, I love this thing for several reasons. Number one, I think um, it's probably one of the most indestructible weapons that you can, uh, that you can own, a uh, firearm that you can own. Um, I just, I just like them, you know, they're not pretty, they're not sexy, right? It's not a sexy looking gun, but uh but it gets the job done. It's incredibly reliable, and uh, and I just love the Glock. Um, the other thing I really like about these is um, they're very, very easy to maintain. I mean, extremely easy to maintain. Um, you know, you don't have to do a lot of maintenance and a lot of cleaning to these. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I clean my weapons every single time uh, I use them. Uh, so I kind of almost over-clean the thing. Um, but you can literally run two, three, four, five thousand rounds through one of these before you have to do really any kind of cleaning and maintenance. Um, but you want to make sure you use the right things to take care of these weapons, right? And again, the one thing I'm, I'm really big about is I, you know, if I reach for my weapon, I want to make sure that it's reliable and it works. And so, uh, so we're going to talk a little bit today about oiling um, and maintaining uh, your weapon. So this is my workbench here. I'm going to I'm gonna angle this down a little bit so uh, so we can kind of walk over this. Um, also, I'm gonna do my 43, um, my 19, as well as my Glock 22. Um, you know, I keep my stuff, if I'm not using it, I do keep it um, in the original boxes, in, you know, locked up, and I do keep, uh, I do keep the, uh, you know, locks on them. Um, you know, I just don't want anybody getting, you know, getting into my stuff and uh, taking my weapons and, and possibly doing um, crazy shit with it and, uh, you know, getting in trouble with it. So, um, so let's go ahead and, you know, we already, we already cleared this, you know, you want to look down in here, make sure there's no round in the, uh, in the barrel. Uh, magazine is out. Uh, so the weapon is cleared. My 22 is cleared because I just pulled it out of there. So I know there's no uh, round in it. Certainly no magazine in it. And my 43 cleared, right? Um, there's no round in the in the chamber, and there's no magazine in the bottom. So, anytime we're, we're working with uh, with our guns, we want to make sure that um, they are cleared, they are safe, um, and there's no chance for uh, for any problems or any kind of you know mishaps. So, uh, first thing we're going to go ahead and do is um, we're going to go ahead and um, on a Glock, you got to make sure that, uh, you know, you, after you clear it, you want to make sure you depress the trigger, right? Pull the trigger. Um, and then you want to take off the slide. Um, so the slide just comes off just like that, but the trigger has to be depressed in order for, um, uh, for you to be able to do that. Again, really easy. You just simply pull back, just grab it like this, pull back just a little bit on the slide pull these two tabs down and then the the whole slide comes right off the top and you're left with the lower um, that's just like that. So on on these, um, and, and I, I've been using this now for a while, this is the uh, Extreme Duty Gun Oil by Lucas Oil, right? Um, Lucas Oil, I heard a lot of really, really good reviews on this stuff and, um, and I thought, well, you know what, I'm gonna try it out. It's really, really reasonable oil too. Uh, the one thing that uh, a lot of people have said about this, and I've certainly run um, a lot of ammo through through my uh, my weapons, and and you can see that guys, there these are really really clean. I've already cleaned all these right, and they're already prepped and ready to go. Again, I'm a real stickler for cleaning my weapons um, after I use them. Um, you can see these are really really clean, right? There's nothing there that needs to be uh, clean, so I don't need to take a brush. And then, but this is going to be a real simple oiling video. Um, for these guns. So, um, but I've heard that this stuff, it, it really, it really has a high, um, burn rate, right? So it's, it's extreme duty. So it has a really, really high, um, heat resistance. And, um, and if you're running any kind of 
you know, 100 rounds or 50 rounds or 200 rounds or 300 rounds through through your weapon, um, it's going to get really hot. So regular oils tend to burn off and this stuff, um, it, it just doesn't. It lasts uh, quite a long time. So I'm going to use a rag um, here just to kind of wipe off some excess oil and um, and certainly keep, you know, oil off my hands and out off of the, um, the case. But we're going to go ahead and break this down. This is the Glock 43 slide. And I'm going to pull that out, and then the uh, barrel just comes out just like that, right? This is the um, spring. Um, you really don't need to oil that. The only thing we're going to oil on this is um, there's a couple pieces in here on the top here that we're going to oil. A little bit of oil that we're going to put on the, uh, on the barrel itself. And then right up here in the front, right? So anywhere there's metal on metal is where you really want to oil this. So right up here in the front where the barrel is going to slide, right? barrel in here, right? The barrel's going to slide back and forth, right? Um, so we're going to oil the first part of that barrel. We're going to oil the back side of this, um, and then the front part of the barrel. And then on the lower, <coughs> we're going to have, actually, there's just going to be a couple of spots on here. I have four spots on the slide, on the metal slide, uh, uh, supports here that we're going to oil and then this back right here where the uh, trigger mechanism is right so really really simple really really easy um i love the applicator on this right it's really nice to put really nice little precision um points of uh of oil on this and we're just going to do right here on the top this one little bead of oil and then a little, one more bead right there on the barrel. Again, not a lot, right? Doesn't take a lot. We're just gonna kind of rub that around right up here and then halfway on the barrel, just like that. And that's ready to go. Then the extra oil that I have on my finger here, I'm just gonna use that and kind of put it inside of here, right here in the front. Doesn't take much, right? Just really light, light coat of oil on there it does not take much um and and that's it so um from there <clears throat> i can actually go ahead and just put this upper back together all right um just like that and you can see there's a little bit of oil right there we'll wipe all that off um after we rack the uh the weapon a couple of times um but that now the upper is ready to go on the lower again here on the rail we're just going to put one drop there, one drop there, just like that. One drop back here, one drop here, and then one drop right back here. And again, where there's where there's metal on metal, right? That's where that's where we want that to go. You can see where that metal rubs right there. Right in here is where you want that oil. And we're just going to work that around just to kind of get it down inside of it. Right? And that's it. And that's absolutely it. We can go ahead and, uh, and put this thing back together. Get this thing to line up. Right? We work that oil through. You can see that oil kind of just a little bit of that oil left on the top there. I'm just gonna wipe that off, wipe off any excess oil. And you can see there's still oil on the barrel, right? So there's still oil on the barrel, you can see that, right? And that's it, the thing's ready to go. That thing is ready to go and it's ready to put a lot of rounds through it. So let's do the same thing with the Glock 19, right? You take the recoil spring off, pop the barrel out. And again, you can see really, really clean, right? Not a lot of, not a lot of stuff on there because again, guys, I, I keep my stuff really, really clean. The barrel looks really good. Um, and again, we're not gonna have to oil the spring. We're just gonna drop a little bit of oil down in here, okay? So put a little drop of oil right there. This is a bigger, you know, this is a bigger, bigger weapon. So, you know, putting a, a full drop there instead of using a little excess on my hand again, there's not a lot of oil. Don't put any oil back here. Um, it's just, it, Glocks are not, they really not designed to have too much oil. I know a lot of people, they tend to over oil. 
um, their their Glocks and and uh, and and I'm you know I'm probably I'm probably guilty of that sometimes too. But um, just a little bit of oil on the front part of the barrel, like that. Another one right there, and again we're ready to put the upper back together here, the slide back together. Drop that in just like that. Down the retention ring just like that. The retention spring just like that. All right, make sure it's all nice and good. And that upper's ready to go. We'll do the same thing right here on this lower. Put a drop of oil right there. And another drop of oil. Get the applicator going right. There we go. Another drop of oil right there. Another drop of oil right there. Another drop right there. Did I get some on there? Yeah, I did. And then right back here. Again, where there is metal on metal. All right, again, we're just gonna kind of push that around. All right, kind of get that nice and worked down in there. That's it. We'll go ahead and put the slide back on. Just like that. Rack the weapon a few times, wipe off any of the excess oil that we have on the top there. And that weapon, double check it, right? There's some oil on the barrel right there. Everything looks really good. We'll go ahead and uh, now do the Glock 22. So again, doesn't take a whole lot, right? It's really, really simple to do. Again, we can take that slide, move it back just a little bit, drop down those clips, pull the slide off. We'll disassemble the slide, tension pin, there's the barrel, right? Again, this pretty clean not a whole lot going on there barrel looks pretty good again not a lot of maintenance right not a lot of maintenance pretty clean pretty clean weapon again we're going to go ahead and do the same thing we'll put a little drop of oil down there at the bottom one drop of oil take our finger just kind of move it around kind of spread it around a little bit it doesn't take much the same thing on the barrel here right up here Drop of oil right there. Let's get a good drop on there. There we go. And rub that around. All right. Rub that back panel there. Just like that. And again, slide assembly back together. Tension pin. Just like that. Just ready to go. Again, I, I think you can see why I like these weapons so much, right? Why I'm, I love these guns so much. There's just not a lot, um, you know, very, very simplistic, um, but uh, but very effective, right? So I'm just going to move that back and forth right there. Move that around with the, there we go. Uh, move that back and forth. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and put the slide assembly back on. There we go. Work that around a little bit, just like that. Wipe off any of the excess oil. There's a little oil on the barrel. You can see that, right? So that's ready to go. And uh, and that's it. That's really all the oil um, that these weapons take. That's um, And again, you can run another 3,000 rounds through these or, or 1,000 rounds or shit. You know, I've heard stories of guys running 10,000 rounds through these. Um, before they have to oil them again. So, um, again, the Lucas uh, Lube, um, Lucas Gun Oil, the Extreme Duty Gun Oil, um, works really well. I've been really, really happy with it. I've switched. Um, I used to use some other products and stuff out there, and I'm not getting sponsored by these guys. You know, I don't, I don't make any money off of this. I just like to pass on good information, and, and when I have something that works, I like to share that with other people. So, um, so go ahead and, and you know, um, make sure you maintain your weapons because the last thing in the world you want is a weapon that doesn't function when you need it to. All right, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. And uh, don't forget, smash that subscribe button and uh, hit those bell notifications and we'll let you know when we get some more videos. Thanks.